Hi everyone, it's Pastor Rebecca and bringing you a message for your midweek teaser. Specifically, I am coming to you from the beginnings wall at Normandale Lutheran Church. You can see behind me that we have a community of faith. This is our heritage, what we have inherited. We didn't earn this background, it's just what we received. This community of people, this history of prayer, things like the golden shovel at the start for our groundbreaking and also the stained glass window above us across. Items we received but did not earn ourselves. You and I and everyone else have received good things we did not earn. Whether that's the care of parents when we were just born and kids and had no way to earn those good things, or maybe genetics, right? Like long legs for running, um, an affinity for singing or some other talent, um, intellect, all kinds of things. We also didn't earn creation. And yet the trees are green and begin to change colors. The wind blows, the water nourishes each one of us. We receive anyway. There is so much goodness in the world that we simply receive without having earned. Um, I know it's homecoming right now. I brought along a picture of myself at homecoming way back in high school. Um, you might notice my mother. She has olive complexion, skin that is a little more um, yellow brown. It means that she doesn't burn as easily in the sun. And I inherited this. My siblings too, my brother and sister and I all feel lucky to have this skin that tans instead of burning. That's one of the good things I feel that I have received and certainly not earned. I wonder about you. And not only genetics, but including them. What are the things in your life that are good that you did not earn, you did not work for, but received anyways? This could even be things like friends. I stumbled into an incredible friend group when I was studying in seminary. People who were just wonderful and immediately embraced me before they even really knew me and gave me a sense of belonging. Just more things that I did not earn and still received. Ponder on these this week. The incredible things of life and specifically of being you that you did not work for and still have. Dwell in the richness of that gratitude. And then come with those in your mind this Sunday because we'll talk a little bit more about it. Also, I want to plant in your um, awareness an event coming up on October 8th that'll build on top of this. Dr. Claudia May, who comes to us as a professor from Bethel University over in St. Paul and also the author of a children's book called When I Fly with Papa, is going to come and uh, bring us some information uh, bring us her beautiful story and explain a little bit more about spiritual and emotional freedom. This generosity of God that we get to live in and receive, even though it's not something we earned. Um, come for that too. So that's October 8th. It's going to be an incredible day. Her preaching and then also an adult and youth and children event after the worship service. But come then and come this Sunday as we bask in the goodness of God that is just ours, because God is good. Take care, everyone.